Oh wow, I've got to do a video about this. Hi, welcome to Parkinson's Disease Education. Today we're going to be talking about vitamin B6 toxicity and how this could potentially happen to you as a person with Parkinson's disease or honestly anybody at large that's taking vitamin B6 as a supplement. In a previous video we talked about peripheral neuropathy as a potential non-motor symptom of Parkinson's disease and how vitamin B6 and B12 can be a great way to improve those symptoms because those vitamins tend to be deficient in persons with Parkinson's disease. I'll link that video up here so you can take a look at that for reference. This particularly came to my attention because vitamin B6 toxicity was something I hadn't considered. Um, somebody commented on that previous video that I mentioned and stated that they were diagnosed with vitamin B6 um, toxicity and that they had been supplementing for quite a while and they were told to, to completely get off of it because they were at excessively high levels in their bloodstream. Now this could happen with any supplement or any substance frankly. Uh, I don't know any details about this person other than the fact that they have Parkinson's disease and peripheral neuropathy and that they were taking vitamin B6. Ironically and as we'll talk about with symptoms, they actually made their neuropathy worse. So how much is too much? According to the Mayo Clinic, 1,000 milligrams per day or higher is too high of a dose. And particularly with the toxicity, they tend to see that this is over at least a year's exposure of taking this high of a level. So 1,000 plus milligrams per day for a year or longer. What are the symptoms of vitamin B6 toxicity? Well, first of all, you can have an increase in the typical sensations that you would associate with neuropathy, burning, tingling, and pain, things like that. You can also have ataxia, which is involuntary or uncoordinated movements of the body. You can have skin lesions, almost like a burn-like lesion that can grow on the skin throughout the body. And you can also have nausea and potentially other gastric symptoms. So how does one treat vitamin B6 toxicity? Essentially stopping the supplements immediately is the number one thing because you need to let your body continue to get that out of your system. Uh, Naturally, we're exposed to vitamin B6 and B12 and other B vitamins through simply the foods that we eat. Um, nobody is going to have this level of B6 unless they're supplementing. In the case of this person, I don't know who recommended the supplements to them, uh, but I can assure you it probably wasn't a healthcare professional because nobody would tell somebody to, t to take an excessive amount of a supplement like this without really knowing that person's metabolism and as, as certainly a person like myself, a doctor of physical therapy, I don't prescribe medications and I don't really prescribe any substance of any kind that's not in our scope of practice. I do recommend things and I can recommend supplements, but I would never tell somebody to, to do anything differently than what the bottle itself says in the instructions on dosage. That being said, I don't know what this individual's story is. I do know that unfortunately they made their symptoms worse. The other question would be how long does it take to reverse the symptoms or basically is the damage reversible? The answer is yes and no because you could potentially improve the symptoms, reduce the damage, uh, or at least improve the symptoms and heal the damage. And again, the length of time is unknown because it depends on how long the person was taking it and how high of a dose. So it's a very individualized problem and unfortunately nerve issues tend to take a very long time to heal because nerve tissue grows at a very slow rate so this person may be in for a long haul of potential symptoms and uh, if this happens to somebody else out there just know that you may continue to have neuropathy symptoms uh, if you do have B6 toxicity which is kind of ironic considering that that's really what we're trying to treat is neuropathy but vitamin B6 in excessive amounts does result in nerve damage and that's the long and the short of it so I want to thank you for watching this video today I hope you found this impactful and I want to urge you please 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 as a healthcare professional I strongly urge you to consult with a professional before taking anything that is not in your ordinary routine so this is not a prescription medication B6 B12 your vitamin B complex you can find all of those in a health store or in your drug store as supplements. But 
Always consult with a physician if you have any doubt as to the amount and the extent of which you should take anything, uh, particularly something like this. Uh, because as you can see, with this example we've given too much, even too much of a good thing can harm you. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please take a minute to like it, share it with other people, and if you consider subscribing, we'd love that too, especially if you're going to come back and watch more videos just like this one. Have a great day. Hope to see you in the next video, and as always, be empowered.